GA clubs all over Ireland today took the locks off their pitches from Patrick's Well in Limerick to Mount Sinai in Waterford and up west to Salt Hill, Nocknacara in Galway. On March 5th, the Galway club had welcomed the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. But for the last three months, there was nothing but silence until today. The clubhouse may be closed with limited toilet access, but to facilitate the return to action, each club had to fulfil certain criteria, such as the appointment of a COVID supervisor to each team. We have four objectives. Uh, firstly, to make sure all participants have filled in the health guidelines on the GEA website. Second one is to enter the training facility. Third one is to make sure they sanitise themselves before play, exit the facility quickly and afterwards to make sure the coaches clean down all training equipment. The Camogie players and footballers of Salt Hill, Nocton Cara here in Galway experienced the new normal for the very first time today, but all were flexible and positive. It's a massive boost for the GA community here in Salt Hill, Cara that we finally have the pitch back open and running. Uh, looking forward to seeing the, seeing the lads at training tonight. Good, good, good to finally see faces again in person rather than Zoom calls and WhatsApp chats. It's awful hard to keep yourself motivated to go running and training on your own, especially when you're used to team settings. So I think if it's something you're used to and going out training a couple of nights a week and then you're kind of too much time on your hand and obviously with all the restrictions there's not much going on. So it definitely has been mentally and physically challenging. The good news is that minor and underage teams will return to the hurling and football fields of Ireland on Saturday on a non-contact basis. On Monday, June 29th, there'll be full contact, as will challenge games be allowed. Martin Morrissey, RT News, Salt Hill, Galway.